In the previous video, we had made a car with the help of Arduino and some other components. The car was able to move forward, backward, left and right, but there was no any input device or any kind of input sensor. The problem with the car was it used to use only delay function to change the direction. So we were not able to control it manually. So in this video, we'll upgrade the same car. We'll add an input device, which is a joystick and we will try to control the car manually but before watching this video i suggest you to watch the first video the link is in the description because i have explained every single detail of the car on the first video and in this video i will only be explaining the input and few of the changes that i have made in the car so let's get started this is the joystick module that we will be using in our project it will act as an input device this is a 2 axis joystick module which is x and y this is the circuit diagram i have made few changes like i have changed the arduino board in the previous video i have used arduino nano but in this video i use arduino uno because there was some problem in the old arduino nano board and the wiring connection few changes are the input in A0 and A1 and the enable pin enable 1 and enable 2 are connected to 9 and 11 respectively. These are the few changes that are that have been made in this video. So follow the diagram. The link of the diagram will be in the description. After connecting all the wires as per the circuit diagram, this is how our car looks like. The joystick is connected to A0 and A1. The x-axis and y-axis of joystick is connected to A0 and A1. The other changes as I have already said are the wires to the motor driver. The wires on the left hand side are to control the speed of the motors and wires on the right hand side are to control the direction of the motor. The two black and wire on my hand are to power the Arduino from the motor driver. I have used some long jumper cables to connect the joystick so that the range of the car will be increased a little bit more. You can use it as per your choices. Now let's look into the program code. First of all, I have created the variables for all the pins that is for the input from x and y axis, the direction pin IN1, 2, 3 and 4 and the enable pins EN1 and EN2. After that, we have created two more variables for x and y from the joystick and left and right, right speed of the motor. Now we have used pin mode function to tell the Arduino which pins are output and which are the input pins. In the loop section, we will first read the values from the joystick and after that we will use the map function to control the speed of left and right motor. After that, there are the conditions. Basically, there are 5 conditions in which the first one is to move forward, second is to move backward, left and right and the last one is to stop the car. So there are 5 different conditions. So for all the conditions there are forward, backward, left and right and the car will act according to the input signal provided from the joystick. So that's all about the program code. Now quickly let's select the board which is Arduino Uno and select the port as per your connection select the port and compile the code after compiling the code click on the upload button and upload the code on the Arduino board now let's see in the hardware unfortunately before I could click a proper video the gears of the motors got destroyed as it was not working and this is the small dem demonstration of our project. If you find any kind of difficulties while making it, please leave a comment, I will definitely try to help you. And if you are new to the channel then don't forget to subscribe the channel, like the video and share among your friends who are interested to make this kind of project. Stay tuned till next video and in next video we'll add some more other components in the same car and make it more better. Thank you for watching, have a great time.